Welcome back to I Enigma. This is Enigma. I'm going to be doing a general reading between Feb 23 to 29. I see the general messages. Since this is a general message, take what resonates and you what does not resonate. For personal readings, white spells, and premium crystals, reach out on WhatsApp, Instagram, and email. And check out all the details in the description box. Check out short predictions that really resonate with each one of you. Check out on my Instagram at inigma.in. Don't forget to follow me there for more upcoming exciting stuff. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, Sign, Cross, Watchers. See the messages here. We have the King of Wands. You have the Set of Pentacles. You have the Three of Wands. You have the Five of Wands. <clears throat> What's cooking, maybe? All right, so what I'm seeing over here is that, oh, someone you had a fight with recently, they want to, they want to come towards you and do something exciting for you. There's someone that wants to come with a surprise. They're very passionate about you. This person has been waiting for your message or your call, but since you're not talking to this person... Or they may have a, made a mistake. They may argue with you and now they want to apologize. So this is what I'm seeing. This is someone that is very, very attracted towards you. Oh, you're in love with this person. I'm sensing that you, you could be younger, but you're in love with this person. And now you feel like this is someone that is not looking for love. They're interested in you, but they're not looking for love here. I'm seeing there has been a lot of fights between the two of you. They always mis misunderstand you. So you decide to walk away from this person because every time you feel like you want to, <clears throat> you know, trust this person, uh, they're worth the trust. But I feel like this is someone that is not looking for a commitment. This is someone that is not looking for a long term here. And what you are looking for is absolutely different, absolutely long term. And this person is not on the same page. So you think that maybe it's not the right time for you know uh expecting something serious from, from this person at least so i'm seeing you changing your mind regarding this person deciding to leave the situation because there's attraction but the love that true love is missing so now you started to feel alone lonely not having enough you know attention of this person and now you're making a serious decision for your life, for yourself. Because you want to have a new beginning. So you're not even able to confront this person. There's just a lot of like baggage. I'm seeing that this person has set a solid boundary around themselves. Because of which you're just not able to confront this person. And they won't listen to you. The Wheel of Fortune. You want to change your life. And you're like, why? How? I mean, how do I do it? With the King of Swords here, I feel like this person is changing. Earlier, they used to be that loving kind and everything. But now there has been a lot more quarrels and fights between you guys. So you decide to leave this and this person is also okay with it. So what I'm seeing is you have a new love offer that's coming in. There are a lot of options around guys. So you're going to meet someone. That is for sure. Aquarius. So get ready to meet someone new. A lot of options are coming in. You're going to be kicking. So a lot of options and I am seeing that one of them is coming in with a true love offer because there is Ace of Cups. You're going to fall in love with someone. Let's see Aquarius. Courthouse. You're going to make a decision. Some of you are taking a divorce. You're married because you want to start alone. You want to start. You want to stay alone right now. Not with this person at least. Not facing the same world. You're not drama. You're just done with the drama. So you want everything to be right and fair. So you're leaving the situation so that you can have a new beginning with someone new. So you're thinking of meeting someone new. Okay. And right now you just want to go solo. You're not thinking. You're not really desperate for new love. But you're de definitely feeling desperate to go solo right now. Okay. So you're going to have a new beginning right now. And with this, you have a magical new journey starting in your life. <clears throat> either there is a Libra Gemini Aquarius coming in or you're going to turn into a magician that means whatever you want in your life you will get it nine of cups all your wishes are coming true guys Ooh. is that so yeah so your wish is coming true eight of pentacles some of you are going to get a dream job or a hike or a promotion or there's some sort of a big success at work coming in after your hard work Okay, there is Nine of Swords energy. Okay, let me see what that is. The star. You guys want to excel at your work and you're like, when? Okay, 
trust me i'm seeing that you are doing really well at work but the problem over here is your love life being extremely rocky in the past i feel like you've gone through a rocky time which is why you're not able to focus on your work that much but you're meant to be successful you're meant to be popular so whatever you're getting now you will get way more than that just have some patience because the three of swords the separation was a must because after the separation you started to think properly for yourself and <clears throat> the new love that's coming into your life is the one that you will be ending up marrying i left you when i saw you your person cheated on you with someone i feel like they lost interest after some time the attraction is still there they still want to remain in contact but you're not looking for something um shallow or superficial this person still wants you see i told you they still want to be with you and you're like no i'm not looking for something casual or something platonic i'm looking for something really serious and spiritual so you're avoiding this person completely and now this person is uh reaching wanting to reach out to you wanting to call you but somehow you're not making it easy for this person and now they're waiting on your message or your call however i'm seeing you're done with this person because you're looking for new love here getting to know each other so you're going to date afresh you're going to release your ex because you have been <clears throat> pretty dependent on this person for a long time for your happiness but now you trust that someone new will come in and make you feel like yes you're lovable and you're way more important than anybody else so you want to love yourself first and then meet someone new i'm seeing a lot of dating options coming in and you are looking for a loyal connection which is coming towards you real soon I know in the comment section I claim I'm going to be in love with my one and only. So I'm seeing also you're practicing self love. You want to go solo right now. Just want to be by your side. That's what I'm seeing. And me. Just because you're doing really well in your career or for yourself, you started to think for yourself, you do things for yourself. There are people around that are not very happy with your, you know, with your with you going uh strong with you being strong with you being independent there are people i'm also seeing especially this person that you're leaving behind is not liking the fact that you're so independent that you don't need this person anymore so there's it's jealousy behind it this this <clears throat> The reason behind this jealousy is you're doing really well career-wise. I'm seeing you're making a lot of money. I'm seeing you're doing excellent job. Okay, you're you're being at your best. I'm seeing there's a lot of success coming in. You're gonna feel proud of yourself. Okay, even though you're so humble, but definitely you can't hide your success. And this person is watching you doing really well, better than this person. Later on in life, or now, you're definitely doing better. If some of you watching this are in forties. Some of you have a cat. I'm seeing your intuition is already telling you that what is happening around you. You know exactly what is happening around you. So the TikTok here. Yeah. Your time has come. You're going to receive wonderful new love offers. You're going to receive a uh, good fortune. This past past person will try to come back. Everything. So right now it's your time and it's your time to shine. Right now in the comment section, I'm shining, I'm glowing. So you're going. Your divine timing is now, and you're about to meet your person. Okay, but right now you're very successful and abundant. You're going to be so focus on your work. <clears throat> Yes, your person could be someone that is coming from a long distance and they are very different. Like I feel like you guys are going to meet while traveling or when you're out and about, maybe in a different country. But yes, love, love doesn't have to mean near this person, even though you guys are in different parts of the world, you guys still love each other and there's a lot of trust. That's the amount of trust that you guys will have for each other. Even though this person is in a different country, you can trust them with their love towards you. 
That is not that solid up. Yes. So finally, when you've released your codependent person or the person that you were codependent on, you started feeling much better and your energy healing started to take place. So yeah, um, watching these readings and getting angel messages are really helping you align with your goals and you must be doing meditation, yoga and other activities that keep you healed. So this is important. Yes, I feel energy healing is really helping you with stress reduction. Get a tourmaline. This one is tourmaline. This one is tourmaline. You can get a tourmaline for yourself, even in bracelet form. Or just do meditation. Listen to only the motivational stuff. Work on your stress reduction right now, especially through spiritual work. That means by listening to these readings or listening or hearing what angels are trying to speak to you, say to you, focusing on those things hearing all the good messages doing the meditation yoga all of these are spiritual stuff prayers these really help okay so now let me see the person that you're going to be with i also want to see like what will happen let me see what the sign is So I'm seeing Sagittarius, I'm seeing Capricorn, I'm seeing Leo. Okay. So what is going to happen between you and your person that's coming towards you? King of Pentacles, that's your soulmate. Exactly who you're manifesting. This person is on the same page. You both are highly successful very prosperous and gonna make a lot of money together and I'm definitely seeing this lot of like understanding mutual understanding you guys together can synergy can work in synergy and grow this is your soulmate that's a confirmation two of cups <clears throat> queen of cups king of cups two of cups you guys are going to be with each you guys are meant for each other there's no doubt okay and there's a fear that the past were trying to create problems between you guys because they're still stuck on you. When you leave that person, they will still be stuck on you. They will try to find someone better than you, but they can't. So they'll try to come back and they can create ripples in between you and your person. So you have to be careful about that. So I will be seeing from Aries to Pisces, what does your person think and feel for you? And then I'm gonna move towards the soulmate tree. Aries towards Aquarius, please. Wow. This person is extremely like bossy, manipulative, like to cheat on you. So stay away. They are more about me, myself, and I. Taurus. I feel like this person is manipulative and they keep going back to their ex and they also have this tendency to come back and forth with you. Gemini. Gemini, please. Mm -hmm. Gemini is talking and spying right now. You block this person or what? I feel like they're too much in their headspace. Like they always create the negative scenarios oh they cheated on me this that cancel wow i feel like they've recently undergone a bad ending with someone and they're trying to come out of it with you and you're falling in love with you leo leo is still stuck they're not able to make a decision but they're a good person and they'll take some time Virgo very very attracted towards you wants to get to know about your whereabouts and everything libra the libra person is i feel like uh, the libra is someone that has uh gone through a lot of like bad experience like they may have gone through an accident or something so ask this person more about this 
but they will be passionate about you this person is a go-getter they never fail to impress scorpio very positive about this and wants to take it forward towards the next level sagittarius Sagittarius is like, uh, they think that they can manipulate you because you're kind, you're soft-hearted, and they can do anything that they can. So they have a wrong notion about you. Capricorn. They want a lifelong commitment. They want to get to know you on a deeper level. Build a strong friendship first. Aquarius. Aquarius is uh, heartbroken. Maybe this is you. <clears throat> but they have to heal. You have to heal. Pisces. Wow. Pisces is the best card till, that, till, till now. <laughs> okay. So the Pisces is someone that sees his marriage material. Most probably they're going to be proposing you. For marriage okay see the job see there's a very strong energy of a Pisces around a Libra around okay um, Pisces Libra yeah and um, yeah, you are heartbroken, Aquarius, to be honest. But someone is coming to heal you fully. And right now, you really want to be all by yourself. Because recently, when you come out of your past, you feel like you are free and you can do anything you want. You're flying high. You're feeling light and happy right now. But there's someone that is coming in to be a part of your life. And they're going to propose you. AI, artificial intelligence. Oh. Maybe someone is on social media doing this work. I don't know. Someone's from India, someone's from Pakistan, someone's from Dubai, Italy, America, Argentina, Nigeria, Kenya, Uganda, Indiana, Armenia. Someone's name is Aaron. Ayman, Aileen, Ivory, Ashley, Albert, Someone's from Colorado, Paraguay, Uruguay, Botswana, mm. Auckland. Mostly seeing uh, Istanbul, Israel, Iran, Iraq. These are the countries that I'm seeing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, United Nations, South Africa, Germany is there, USA is predominant. USA, Philippines is also there, Canada is also there, Australia, Pakistan. So these are the most probable countries that I'm seeing. If there is any other message, guys, you sense from this, write down the comment section, have some fun with it. I'll see you back again with more stuff. Please take care of yourself, beautiful ways. Bye. And stick around for the next series, which is the Soulmate Dream. Bye.